Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another Red Gaming Tech.com video, and we've got some uh, rumor roundup for the Samsung Galaxy S4. Now, we know that the device is expected to be announced next uh, week in New York City, of course, in the United States, just to make it clear, uh, which, is, of course, is very different from the previous announcement, which was in, uh, of course, Europe. But what we do have is some rumors of what we're actually going to be looking at hardware wise and some general improvements on the phone i think the first stop for us will be the camera and it's actually conflicting reports one of them says that it's going to be an improvement over the previous uh, cameras that have been in the phone it's going to be eight megapixels but the quality of them is going to be a lot better the camera is going to be a lot more vibrant and so forth the other option is it's going to be a 13 megapixel uh, kind of solution. Now, obviously, more pixels e equals better picture quality regardless. And for those of us who use the camera functions of the phone instead of an actual proper camera, regardless of the fact, we're going to be quite happy of either solution. Now, remember that just because an 8 megapixel camera in theory does, of course, pack less pixels than a 16 megabyte, sorry, 16 megapixel camera, it doesn't mean that the quality is going to be inferior. And indeed, if the quality um, of the actual hardware is better, then there's a good chance that the 8 megapixel solution will look better. Regardless, at the moment, of course, we're not sure which way it's going to go, so expect an announcement, of course, from that soon. The Galaxy S4 um, is going to have an improved ga uh, battery life. Now, we know that the S3 was an improvement, of course, over the S2, so it stands to reason that Samsung are going to once again try to push the battery life. For example, my S2, I'm due for an upgrade soon, so I'm probably going to be getting S4, to be honest with you. Um, has kind of iffy battery life. I mean, it's not that bad, but when you're, you know, really heavily taxing the phone with a lot of functionality, it starts to really eat through the battery. And what they are saying is that it's going to be a... 2600 mAh battery rather than the 2100 that's in the current S3. Whether this is actually true or not, of course, well, remains to be seen. Oh, incidentally, I forgot to mention that the front-facing camera of the S4 will likely, and it's expected to be 2 megapixels, which isn't too bad at all. Now, this is a fairly interesting one. For those of you who are aware of the scrolling functionality of phones, in other words, you know, you kind of scroll up and down you'll be aware that it could be a bit of a pain even in the best of circumstances however new york times have had anonymous sources saying that the galaxy s4 will come with a new eye scrolling feature this basically it keeps a look at your eye and will track to see you looking down the page and then of course it will scroll accordingly this could be very interesting to see how this is implemented it could be either extremely annoying um, or it could be extremely awesome sub pages for example wikipedia when you have kind of subsections in the uh, categories i don't know if you've noticed this but it can be a bit difficult to scroll sometimes it kind of gets stuck at least on my S2. Um, apparently as well, there's going to be a smart screen technology. This will basically track if you're looking away while, say, video is happening on the screen. So say, for example, someone you know calls your name and you just look up for a second from the phone or what have you, it will not continue to play. It will pause for a moment or two. If there's one area that phones can never improve enough on, in my opinion, is durability. And Samsung have confirmed that the Galaxy uh, S4 will have a plastic body although there are rumors about aluminium edges to increase the strength of the phone in other words so it doesn't crack so easily if say it's dropped now there were rumors originally of a super amoled screen but this doesn't seem to be the case it seems to be a 4.99 inch foled that's p h o l e d display and that resolution is going to be 1080p so 1920 by 1080 pixels that's going to be quite nice actually although it isn't of course the first display out there which is 1080p for example sony's xperia z does indeed have that as well now this actually ties in very well with the battery life as supposedly this display is reported to perform 25 percent better in terms of power indeed if you take a look at most smartphones and you'll actually see what takes a battery of them most of it is the screen display is especially true if you're say in a bright or sunny or you know area where you have to turn up the the brightness of the phone so you can actually see what the hell you're doing it quickly eats through most batteries so what about the actual power of the phone 
Well, there are rumours of an improved GPU, and we're almost certain that there's going to be two gigabytes of RAM on the phone, which is quite nice to say the least. But the biggest, almost um, unknown at the moment, is of course the processor. There are a couple of rumours, however, they're of course unsubstantiated. There have been rumours and whispers, if you will, that the processor will actually be an 8-core processor. Now, this isn't completely and utterly unsubstantiated. The larger Samsung Galaxy Note 3 is more than likely going to be getting the Exynos, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it, 5 Octa 8-core processor. So whether we're going to be seeing this in the Galaxy S4, it's unknown. Regardless, if not, we're probably going to be getting the Exynos 5410 dual quad-core chip, uh, eight, um, 1.8 gigahertz, which is quite a nice improvement over the S3, which has a 1.4 gigahertz chip in it. So are there any other rumors? There is apparently one, and that is the micro SD slot. Now, of course, previous Galaxies, for example, the S3 and S2, have indeed had a micro SD slot, so you can increase the amount of memory on the phone. So, that doesn't seem to be the case. At least there are rumours saying this doesn't seem to be the case with the S4. Whether these are true or not, it's unknown. But apparently, Samsung are planning to roll out 16, 32, and 64 gigabyte options. But one of the problems with doing that is most customers, because SD cards are getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper, is just simply saying, hey, you know what, I'm just going to buy the cheaper phone and stick it in a large uh, SD card. There are rumours that they're going to remove the SD card option. In other words, the slot is not going to be present. As I said, this is completely unsubstantiated at the moment, so if that's true, who knows? It could also conceivably annoy a few people as well, so maybe they won't go that route. However, soon we'll have the announcements March the 14th. Samsung will be, of course, making its various announcements in New York. And so if we are going to be seeing the S4, then that will be absolutely fantastic. Of course, the S4 range of phones has always been, uh, well, should I say the Galaxy range of phones has always been extremely popular. And the S2 and S3 have only built upon that popularity that the original one established. So, obviously, Samsung are going to really want to push the boat out on this. As, obviously, uh, Samsung are not the only competitors in the marketplace uh, right now. Now, there are some rumors which are still seemingly untrue. One of them would be the Android 5 code name at key lion pi i have no idea where they come up with these names regardless originally it was thought to be launching with the galaxy s4 now it doesn't seem to be the case now of course it seems that we're going to be seeing the 4.2 also known as of course jelly bean and samsung have also recently told cnet that they were considering embedded its secure software nox that's k n o x into the handset this would allow you to be able to switch between personal work interfaces with you know, relative ease. There was also an announcement of Samsung and Visa partnering up. And if that's true, it's possible that Visa's PayWave, which is a mobile payment application, will also be pre-installed onto the phone. Of course, once again, unsubstantiated if I can get the bloody word out. So with all of that together, obviously they're going to really want to solidify their position in the market. As I've said before, you've got now Sony releasing an excellent set of handsets and of course Apple and goodness knows whom else. So they really need to keep pushing the features out. Regardless, I think that's just about it for this particular video. Hopefully you found it helpful and I will see you soon. Take care of yourselves and bye for now.